In this week's Tableau Tip Tuesday, I'm going to take you through a question that Eva asked the other day on a chat. As she was working through her Makeover Monday Viz, she had a question about how to count people that have worked for both Donald Trump and Obama. So I thought I would extend this a bit for this week's tip. So there's a couple ways that we could handle this. So let's say the question is something like, how many products are sold in one region, two region, three regions, or four regions? Well, Eva's question was very specific. She wanted to know how many people worked for two candidates. So let's say our first question is something like, I'll just type it out here, how many products are sold in two regions? Okay, so there's a couple ways you could do that. The first way is by creating a calculated set. To do that, I'm going to right click on product name, go down to create set. And I'm going to call this products in two regions. And this is set up very much like a filter with the tabs across the top. So on the general tab, I'm going to say use all because I don't want to filter out my products. What I want to do is go to the condition tab and I want to say by field region. And I want to count the distinct regions for each product. So I'm going to say equal to two. Hit OK. And now I have a set called products in two regions. If I drag that into the view, you'll see I have in and out. So this means products that are in the set. And this is, so basically this means two regions. And this means one, three, or four. So from here, I could just right click and drag product name to the column shelf. I want to count the distinct products. And let me go ahead and turn on my labels. And it says 238 out of, 100, well, out of 1,025 products are sold in two regions. Okay, great. So another thing we could do from that, so let me go ahead and duplicate that sheet, is maybe now we want to do something like percent of products sold in two regions. So for that, we could simply say if products in two regions, then uh, count distinct product name, else count distinct product name. Or, I'm sorry, no, uh, else zero end. So this is going to tell us, oops, I need to do, uh, I want to do, yep, so let's just do uh, number, nope. Okay, so uh, then one, else zero. So let's see if that does it. Uh, I don't think I did that right, but let's try it. Let's hit OK. And if we put percent of products sold in two regions, if we put that here, we get 857. OK, so that didn't work. So let's get rid of that. And let's pretend that never happened and delete it. OK, so the second method is um, what you want to do now is uh, let's, let's say we want to know how many are in one, two, three, or four regions. So we could say, um, uh, how many products are sold in one, two, three, or four regions? Something like that. So this is our new question. So we can't do that with a set because the set only gives us uh, in or out. So for this, I want to use a level of detail expression. So I'm going to create a calculated field and I'm going to call this regions per product. And for this, I'm going to use a fixed LOD, and I'm going to set it to the product name. So this is saying for each product, I want to count the distinct number of regions and close that off. OK, so Tableau is going to put that down here as a measure. I'm just going to drag it up and make it a dimension. You can do that with a fixed LOD. And I'm going to drag that into the rows. And now you can see if I flip this, you can see uh, one, two, three, and four regions. So again, we have our 238. If I go back over here, that's the same number. Excellent. So I can then easily make this a percent of total if I wanted to. And we could see now that 18.84% of products are sold in two regions. Excellent. Okay, so basically what this allows you to sort of understand now is um, you can write an LOD that looks very much like a set. So to do that, so let's say I want to create another one called products sold in 
two regions. So for this, what I could say is I could say um, uh, let's let's just reuse our fixed LOD. So let's fixed ah, at the product name, and we want to count the distinct number of of regions. Oops. Okay, and we're going to say if equals two, then we want to count. Uh, we just want to, uh, well, we could just say equals two. Let's just do it that way. Okay, and now we could say a true false, put that in the view. And if we again put count distinct of product name into the columns and turn on our labels, you'll see again we get 238. So hopefully that helps explain a little bit how sets work, or at least a calculated set. So, and the beauty of this is you can write a calculated, uh, you can write a fixed level of detail expression that works exactly like a computed set. So I hope you found that helpful, and I'll be back soon with another tip. Have a good day.